Don't forget to follow us on Instagram for more polls, news, pictures and much more stuff. National anthem of Kurdistan is called A Raqib and was written by Dildar during his imprisonment in 1938. Now it is said that Dildar wrote A Raqib in prison and that the word A Raqib which as I said means O enemy is directed towards the prison guards of the prison which simply represents each occupants of Kurdistan, Turkey, Iran, Iraq and Syria. If you want a full video about the life of Dildar Make sure you like this video and comment that in the description box below. In this video, we are going to explain the lyrics of the Ayraqib national anthem. Remember that this is my own interpretation of the song. If you don't agree to my interpretation, let me know in the comment section below. Let's start by listening to the whole song first. Now, let's look at A Raqib again, but this time we will pause between each sentences of the song. So, A Raqib starts off by showing us that the poem is directed to the Kurdish enemies, Turkey, Iraq, Syria and Iran. O oh, enemy is a calling for the ones that the poem is directed to and then the rest of the sentence is the rest of the message that A Raqib is giving to the occupants of Kurdistan. We see here that the first thing our national anthem apply is that the Kurdish language is alive. Why is this so important? Well, simply because the Kurdish language, Kurdi, for a long time has been the victim by the enemy states of ours. The fact that the Kurdish language is alive is surely frustrating every enemy of the Kurds. Not at least since we in history have seen several attempts of trying to assimilate the Kurds and the Kurdish language into the different occupying states. Yeah. 
Dildar's nationalistic feeling and patriotism is shown in this sentence really clear. Words like brave, nation and rise are typical for the works of Dildar. In this sentence, Dildar is acknowledging that the Kurds are ready to put violence as a method of achieving their freedom. To adorn the crown of life with blood, meaning that the Kurds are ready to spill their own and others' blood in order to be able to defend their own lives. I have no more comments for the chorus of the song. It is simply amazing. This is surely my favorite line in the national anthem. Khosru is the Kurdish name of Sayasheris, who was the first king of Media, explaining why the word Media also is mentioned in the line. We are the children of Media and Sayasheris. Even though the Kurdish ancestors are far many more than just the Medes, since the Kurds are one of the most hydrogenic people in the world. The Medes are probably the closest origin people of the Kurds, and I guess that it would be impossible to mention every single one of the Kurdish origin people in a single national anthem text. The line follows up by the words, Our faith and religion is our homeland. Simply, our faith and religion are Kurdistan. Religion is for many people the most important thing. This line is interpreted by me as that Kurdistan is to be the most important thing for the Kurds, just as important as religion is for example the occupants. Comparing it with religion just so that people can understand how important we see the Kurdish cause. Kurdistan is to be our religion, and Kurdistan shall come first, even before any religion, no matter if we talk about Islam, Christianity, Yazidism, Zoroatrism, or any other religion out there. This line points out that no matter how far the generations go, it will always be that our parents and grandparents have been part of the bloody color revolution. We are the children of the revolutions. There will also be more revolutions to come. And for those, new generations will be able to look on this eternal line in the same way that we are for the older revolutionaries. For me, this line points out to us to never forget all the oppression and humiliation that our relatives have been through, whether it is now or earlier in the history. Finally, the last line of the national anthem is pointed towards the Kurdish youth. I believe that the point of this line is to give the occupants or the prison guards the feeling of fear towards the Kurdish youth. Simply, it is not only the ongoing generation of Kurds that will fight back, but all the future generations. The national anthem then repeats the first verse in order to once again point out who the song is directed to and what our message is. So that is our beloved national anthem. Remember that this video about the meaning is my own interpretation of the national anthem. If you don't agree to my interpretation or if you have other thoughts about the different lines in the national anthem, let me know in the comment section below. And also don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel.